Seriously, Gene, you zoomed in on my chest again. Relax, no one watches these anyway. Besides, you're giving yourself too much credit. Case file number 14-72918. Evidence containment and storage of digital video camera, black, defining marks, broken lens. A variety of tapes capturing homicides from suspect's camera. Who could even watch one of those now? Who's lead on this anyway? Harris. A oh, cocksucker. Now you better hope he doesn't watch this. Seriously? Personal mobile cellular device, cracked screen, voice memo application intact and extracted. Mm-hmm. Crime scene photos of associated and current known open case filings based on prints lifted from homicide 14-72918. Nasty. And backup hard copy. Diamond ring, box included. Forty caliber hand pistol. Two rounds discharged. attention please hi uh, the reason Rachel and I invited everyone here tonight is because we have a really big announcement to make we are going to be moving to Los Angeles in about a month no I know I know but it's um it's gonna be great I was actually offered a position um, a visiting artist position with the Los Angeles Symphony Orchestra that means that we're going to be moving for at least two years, but we wanted you all here tonight um, because we just wanted to tell you what dear friends you've been to the both of us and how we're going to miss you terribly. This is not a sad thing. This is a celebration. And the last time I checked, we had a shitload of booze still in the kitchen, and there's no way we're taking it to Los Angeles to drink up. <laughs> Turn the music on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good luck, you guys. Don't let LA make you guys late. You guys, we're gonna miss you. And, and we love you, and you'll never be forgotten. And I'm gonna puke. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Hey, hey, can you please be careful with that? It's, it's really expensive. Man, don't worry about it. I got this shit. It's okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
It's like in 77, that Son of Sam shit. Yeah, at least Son of Sam wrote the police about why he was doing it. The Northside Stalker is more random. Wow, they got a name for him already? That's quick. People love that kind of shit, man. I mean, that's what's keeping newspapers alive. You know, how funny would it be to find out some journalist doing all this shit just to sell more papers? What do you want me to say? I don't know, just something nice. <laughs> I've had everybody at the party say something except for you. <laughs> she was too busy trying to hook up with that guy from Northwest. Shut up, I was As you can see, we've been very diligent about packing. Most of these dishes and glasses will probably end up broken because we're only using newspaper, but that's okay, because uh, I'm sure these plates are older than me. And right through here is where the magic happens. Happened. Well, it will happen again, maybe, if I ever finish packing tonight. Anyone want to take a guess which box is mine? Hint. It's the one that looks like a complete mess. Two very different packing styles, Rachel and I. She's labeled and organized, and I'm more of a, I don't know, stuff as much shit into one box as you can kind of guy. Oh, and uh, over here are the better products of my work, my covers. And uh, my mom made these frames. Thanks, Mom. Hopefully, I'll find a place for them in my massive one-bedroom of efficiency in Los Angeles. They'll probably end up in a storage unit. Oh, okay, here we go. What are you doing? That is so embarrassing. What? You know I don't like being recorded while I'm playing. Oh, come on. We have no footage of you playing. Why are you videotaping everything? No reason. Seriously, why are you videotaping everything I'm doing? I don't know. I just I thought it would be cool to document our trip. You know, throw it up on YouTube and so our parents can know that we're okay. Or we could edit it together with some really crappy road music and make mm. all of our friends sit through it. Mm, that sounds like the worst idea ever. Well, it's happening. And that's that. Get back to packing. I am on it. Okay, so I actually, uh, I do have a reason for uh, recording all of this, and, and that reason is right here. Uh, Rachel always said that her, her favorite place in the world was the Rockies, so... On day three of our trip through Colorado, I will be proposing to Rachel in Silverthorne. I got it all planned out. Uh, I got a really great room, and of course I got the rings, so I just need to David, hope that... where did you put my phone charger? Uh, I'll be right there. Um, I think it's in the, in the back room. I'm, I'm on my way. Similar to others with their neck slit, the trachea removed in a surgical fashion, and the skin around the neck peeled away. Joining us in the studio now to discuss this is renowned psychologist Dr. Hey, so you know we paid those movers to load our stuff, right? Yeah, no. So you kind of look like you're dressed to help them. Where are they? Um, they just turned on a western, so they should be here pretty soon. What are you doing? I'm gonna go tape the street a little bit. No. In case we miss it, we can always look back at the video. Don't go too far. So this is our street. Oh, right over here. This is crazy cat lady's house. I think there's a cat in the window right now. She's actually not crazy. She just has a shit ton of cats. She actually invited us up for baklava once. It was pretty tasty, except for all the cat hair. Hey, you. That's my neighbor that insists on calling me Scott. He, this has happened so many times, I don't I think he's always going to refer to me as Scott. I don't really think I knew many people in this neighborhood very well. Oh. Here's another lovely feature of our neighborhood. A derelict digging through our trash.
Oh, 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 okay. Uh, he was looking at us. You got it? Well, are you okay, huh? Yeah. Just, you know, a little sad that we're leaving. Yeah, me too. But hey, new beginning, right? Right out, Daddy. -o. In fact, follow me. What? Just follow me. <laughs> what is this? A toast to our new life in California. Cheers. Mm. Flowers too? No, these are for me. Oh, are they now? Mm -hmm. Because if they were for me, you know, probably a good chance you'd be getting lucky tonight. Can mm. you have sex on an air mattress? Oh, I think we better do it on the floor, you know, so we don't pop it. These flowers are for you. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Somehow we got more in the car than we did in the truck. I don't know how we managed that. Did you leave the keys in there? No, I gave them to Cornelia. She's here already? Yeah, she's showing the apartment to somebody else already. Jesus, that was quick. I hope she's as quick with the deposit. Ready? Right oh, Daddy O. Right oh, Daddy O. You know about the Great Chicago Fire, right? Of course. Well, did you know that before the fire, this whole town was like a swamp. In fact, the city was so disgusting that they built most of it like 10 feet off the ground. Really? Yeah. That's how the phrase criminal underground got coined. There was like this whole seedy world below old Chicago for murderers and criminals, prostitutes, and white slavery, all right underneath the city. Then of course, when the fire happened, most of it got destroyed. All the local clergy said that the fire was caused by God to rid the city of its awful inhabitants, like, uh, like a modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah or some shit. What happened to all the criminals? Two theories, both of them mine. <laughs> Perhaps the wicked souls of Chicago's underground were buried below, trapped there forever like some sort of ancient curse. But I like my other theory better. And your other theory is? The fire smoked them out of their holes, and they've been up here with us ever since. Yeah, that would explain a lot about our politicians. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you should write a book about that. I, I'd love to do a, a photo series on it. Mm. The new places compared with the old. Find some old archived photos and just see how things have changed. Yeah, well, the city never really changed. Take Harlem up the north, and then we'll, then we'll cut back down to Mannheim. Won't that take longer? No way. This makes much more sense than dealing with this traffic. Trust me. You a piece of shit, Jack. Explain to me again the intricacies of taking a shortcut. Hey, this didn't happen on the interstate. Yeah. Think there's a, not a body shop anywhere around here? What neighborhood is this, anyway? Uh, Little Shadyton. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a great job, babe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, my dad, my, my dad taught me something. Oh my god, I think it's so cute when David like argues. See how his eyebrows are always up? That means it's just serious. Why are you filming this? Oh, the tables have turned. This guy's ripping us off. Should have had you talk to him. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll win him over with your indignation and city elitism. I'm gonna grab a soda. I see why he likes filming everything. Well, it's kind of fun. What is that? Hey, it's been some Oh my change. god. No, I'm sorry, I don't have anything. Okay, we're all set. All right. Your mama driving. Don't know why she's crying now again. The streets are passing by, flames up in the sky and on the wind. She reaches for the dark. M I S S I S S I P P I. M I S S I S S I P P I. What are you doing? It's a thing. You hungry?
taking one of these across the country. But at least we didn't take one of these. Come on, Rachel. We're already running behind. Jesus. What? Where'd you go? Uh, girl stuff. Well, your girl stuff has delayed us. I don't think we're going to be able to see the world's tallest fish statue now. So, hey, we made it to another state. Mm -hmm. A little later than planned, but we did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so where are we staying tonight? Only the finest hotel in all of Omaha. Mm -hmm. And by finest, I mean the one I got the best deal on on the internet. Okay, so we're staying tonight in Omaha and then... And then... Okay, you and your apps. And then we drive through Nebraska and then into Colorado. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to stay right around Silverthorne somewhere. Fun oh, with and, this. Uh, I'm going to go pee. <laughs> And then over here, on day three of our trip, near Silverthorne in the Rocky Mountains, I'm gonna propose to Rachel. Two days from now, I'm either gonna have some very good news or some... Yeah, hey mom. What's up? Yeah, how's it going? No, we're just get, grabbing the bite. Uh, you know what? You are, um, you're cutting out, so just, I'm gonna go outside. Okay. Alright, just, alright, just hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Excuse me, miss. Your boyfriend left this on the table, Liz? Oh. Didn't want you to lose it. Thank you. How many cows did you have to tip before you became a true Iowan? Hey, hey, quiet, or I will pull this car over right now and make you tip a cow. Okay, put your money where your mouth is. Oh, I just forgot it's not cow tipping season. Damn. Hey, did you grab the map? The what? The map. I left it on the I table at the see diner. It when I left the tip, I thought you'd grabbed it. You know you almost left the camera too? Shit, I didn't grab it. Waitress probably cleared it off. Damn it. Okay, I think you're gonna be okay because we have these newfangled things called phones now and they actually magically work to show you a map so you don't actually have to buy one. Yeah, I just, I thought it would be cool to have an actual map on a road trip. Are you Chevy Chase from vacation? His name is Clark Griswold. Day one, Omaha. Four <laughs> days to go. Pretty good start. Well, we lost one good map and a good tire, and I got a little stomach ache from the biscuits and gravy, so I guess it's not a great start. Oh, I'm exhausted. Is this place have a pool? Hey, one, two, three. <laughs> Ladies, please introduce yourselves. Dana Johnson. Ashley Johnson. All right, two very dedicated athletes. And over here we have our judging panel. All right. Who won? Who won? Who won? Who won? Uh, it was, yeah. it was a tie. Say hi. Hi, David. Hi, girls. What did you say? Nothing. Are you coming? Actually, Phil and I are gonna have a couple more drinks. You wanna stick around? Um, no, I'm gonna try to go get some sleep. My head kinda hurts. How much time we got? How much drinking we doing? <laughs> wow, this is nice. This is really nice. <laughs> hey, how much did you pay for it? That is a very rude question to ask me, sir. Okay. <laughs> How much did it set you back? Let's just say not as much as the ring I just bought for Rachel. <laughs> what? Yeah. 
As soon as I get to Colorado, I'm gonna propose to her. Oh, that's, that's, wow, that, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Here, here, a toast, a toast. Oh. Uh, to the future Mr. and Mrs. What the hell was your last name? Johnson. What? That's yeah. insane. We're the Johnsons. I'm just fucking with you. It's not Johnson. <laughs> it's, it's Richmond. <laughs> Richmond. <laughs> Congrats, Dave Richmond. <laughs> How much did you pay for this camera? <laughs> hey, <boy. laughs> Oh, thank you, Jesus. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. What? It's fine. I, I'm just glad you didn't drop it in the water, though. Yeah, no shit. Say, seriously, how much does this thing cost you? Let's just say that if you had dropped it in the water, your wife would have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill me anyway. <laughs> Let's drink to it. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Thought I'd see if you need any assistance. Are you drunk? Maybe. You better not plan on showing this to anybody. I plan on posting it on the internet as soon as I'm done. Did you get out of here? Then I want you back for you. I know. Then I want you in front for you. David. Okay, so. End of day one. We made it! Yay, we made it! <clears throat> what do you think? I think I'm tired. Let's turn it off. How about we... We leave it on for a little while and have some fun. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go to sleep. Loud and clear. Morning. Uh, can we get some Starbucks? This coffee here is brutal. Oh, um, are you hungover? No, I am not that delightful little euphemism. I think that the proper term is fucked. <laughs> well, I would be an awful girlfriend if I made you drive today. But it is your turn. You gotta be kidding me. Biscuits and gravy again? Really? Well, yeah. I love biscuits and gravy. Okay. So what is the technical term for someone who could do something like this? Well, the clinical terminology that we use is a psychopath, a subject area. Okay, a little bit about where we are. Somewhere in the middle of bum fuck Nebraska. But luckily, the road is asphalt, so there's that. Average road speed. Ah! What? You okay? Where are we? Middle of nowhere. You okay? Yeah, it's just. I, I just what? It's just a bad dream. You were only asleep for like six minutes. What was it about? What? Nothing. It was the Johnsons, wasn't it? They followed us all the way to California, and now they want to live with us. Oh my God, that would scare the crap out of me too. Seriously, you okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna try to go back to sleep. Is it gonna fall? That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. We are in Nebraska. Yeah. Woo on the beautiful Platte River. Get some fish. Hmm? Get some fish. I do want to. 
If we look, come over here. Do you see them? They're catfish, I think. Holy cow, look at those fish. Come over here. It's easy, look. You going, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, I'll share. Get away, baby. It's okay. Come here. Come on. Nebraska. Oh, disgusting, David. Roll down the window. Oh, we are so stopping here. David, we're not stopping at the world's biggest fish, the world's biggest moose, the world's big... Welcome to the Great Platte River Archway. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Marshall. I'm Marshall. Marshall Steve. I'm Rachel. You, Rachel. I'm, I'm David. David. Hi, David. <laughs> Still recording? Yeah. The red light? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like Pirates of the Caribbean. Our home and everything we could not take with us. Enjoying the trail of California. I don't know if you could. Okay, you got it? Look at me, though. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> David, I think this guy's real. I'm serious. Doesn't he look real? Hello? Boom! Ah! <laughs> that is not funny! You scared the hell out of me! This thing is not working at all. Mine's not working either. No? You think we can just leave? Yeah, good idea. Come up here. Come on. Yeah. Hey, babe. Huh? I think they're gonna close in a few minutes. We should just get through the rest of it. It's kind of nice that we have a place to let ourselves. Mm. Yes. There, well, there is that. Rachel. Rachel. Hey there! What a coinky ding! Look who I found. So it doesn't hit so it doesn't hit the dock. This is actually a whistle. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think it, but it actually is. On this end down here, they'd screw that into the uh, steam pipes, and then mm -hmm. when they'd pull the whistle, the steam would come out and make this big noise. Well, that was fun. Mm. Yikes. Can you tell you about the buffalo? Oh, yeah, how they used all of the buffalo. You pretty much told me everything I learned by playing Oregon Trail as a kid. Okay, amazing. See, that's the sort of stuff I'm going to miss about the Midwest. I miss Chicago too, I think. Yeah, me too. Hey, do you know what I'm not gonna miss? The winters, the super humid summers when the electricity goes out and the AC stops working. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna miss the uh, well, north side killer thing. I'm gonna miss the hot dogs. <laughs> you know, I think that the news is making that into a bigger deal than it is anyway. I mean, honestly, on the west side, people are dying every day. And then a couple of white people get knocked off and they think that it's like a serial killer. People are super paranoid. I remember when I was in the sixth grade, my parents sent me to this um, Girl Scout camp in Virginia because there was a serial killer on the loose in Detroit. And we didn't even live near Detroit. We lived out in the suburbs. I just can't believe that you were a Girl Scout. Damn right I was. Four years. Uh, did they give you a badge for anal attentiveness? Or no, uh, for alphabetizing things that don't need to be alphabetized.
That was beautiful. What's it from? It's Kinderstein and by Schumann. Uh, my, my German's pretty awful. Actually, my uh, everything is pretty awful. What, what's it mean? Uh, ki kind Kindersteinen. It means uh, scenes from childhood. There are 13 different pieces in the entire suite, and each one represents a uh, different memory from childhood. This one's uh, called Troy Marie. What's that mean? Dreaming. <laughs> We missed the sign in Nebraska. You really want to remember Nebraska? Well, Hey, can we finally get a dog when we get to California? I don't want to get a dog. Why not? Don't give me that stupid reason again. The dogs die and it makes everybody sad and that's why you don't want to get one because it's bullshit. No, it's not. Have you ever lost a pet? It's awful. True. But by that reasoning, you shouldn't form relationships with anything that dies. I mean, why are you with me? I'm only going to die one day. I mean, might as well. I might as well not get too attached because it's going to be super sad when I die. I might as well just live a lonely life and not care about anyone or anything. Wow, you are really passionate about this. Dogs are awesome. What about a cat? Cats are evil. They're like the, the chosen pet of Ra. Enough said. <laughs> hey, hold this for a second. What do you want me to do with it? I don't know, just pretend like it's one of those reality show confession moments. Here. David, I am actually a man. I know, that's why I love you. <laughs> Come on, David, pick up your phone. Oh, shit. Here's a confession. You're an asshole for making me wait out here. Where are you? Jesus, David. David? Anyone in here? David? This isn't funny. David, don't make me come in there. I don't want to. David? This isn't funny. Hello? Hello, anybody in here? Hello? <laughs> David? Okay, so I told Rachel what happened back at the rest stop, mm -hmm. and now she's making me say it right into the camera. Don't forget your pledge as well. I won't. Okay. I, David Richmond, really had to take a shit. And where did you take this shit? In the women's bathroom. And why was that? Because the men's bathroom was gross and I wasn't going to take a shit in there. And now the pledge, okay? Okay. I, David, the 
asshole mm -hmm. will never scare my beautiful and wonderful girlfriend again, no matter how bad I have to take a shit, and no matter how nasty any bathroom is. Oh, you are so weird. What were you gonna do if someone came in there? I don't know, just try not to make any dude sounds, I guess. What did people do before rolly bags? Um, they carried them. It's ridiculous. How many deer had to die to make this thing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably a lot. I should have brought my dress bolo. Whoa, look at this map. I miss my map. Rachel, do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Now I know why you wanted to stay here. Very large maps. Fantastic. Damn it. Babe, what are you doing? Come on, let's go to bed. I'm just, I'm trying to make this thing say Colorado on the screen. How about this? Well, that's another way of doing it. Are you trying to make this thing look even more low budget than it is? So, Rachel is sound asleep, and I'm just too nervous about tomorrow, so I decided to go for a walk. However, there are no sidewalks around the hotel, and it's super dark, so I'm just walking around the hotel. Hello? Hi, how can I help you, sir? Hi, uh, can I have a wake-up call for 7.45? Yeah, we can do that. What room, room number is it? Room 150. Wow, this is creepy. Just like any second, I'm, I'm gonna see two dead twin little girls covered in blood.
is so cool. Okay. Still got a headache? Yeah. It's gotta be like the elevation or something, yeah. Yeah, probably. You wanna stop? Get some aspirin or something? No, let's just keep going. This is not Chicago. Wow. Feeling better? A little. Food helps. Okay. It's pretty, huh? Yeah, it's really beautiful. I... I'm gonna go to the bathroom, okay? Okay. You feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. All right. So, uh... Here goes nothing. Perfect. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. On top. Oh, you got it. Is it rolling? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. That. Okay. So just point the camera at me, and when, when oh, my girlfriend starts to, to walk over here, now. Okay, sir. With, uh, and then when she gets close, I'm gonna go down on one one knee. When I and when I do, you you come in. And, no, you, you don't go down on one knee. I I do. Right, later. The last idea. Okay. 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 What was that all about? Uh, he's, he wanted to look at my ca camera. He was, he was asking me about it. He, he didn't speak English very well, so he kind of didn't understand what I was saying. <laughs> you feeling okay? Yeah. Let's uh, get back in the car, okay? Yeah. Uh, you want to maybe go for a walk or something? Get some fresh air? No, I just I want to get back on the road. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, you know what? We could uh, we could stop at some of those hot springs. They're not too far from here. What do you think? Well, well, we could uh, we could drive a little further south and uh, pull into some of those cool towns down there. Whatever you want to. Everything going according to plan. <coughs> Jesus. Hey, Rachel. So pretty down here. Come down here. You're missing it. Babe, I feel like I'm ruining all of our plans. No. Honey, no, no. Come here. My only concern is having you feel better. Okay? Mm -hmm. We set aside a couple days for Colorado. So, we still have like a day or so. Mm -hmm. We'll just find a room and we can rest. And we'll just walk around town and take some photos or something, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yeah. 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 Rachel? Take our bags out? Rachel? Rachel! Okay, so uh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, and as you can see, things are going really well around here. Uh, I'm bouncing off the walls, so what do you say we go check out Grand Junction? Mom, you're gonna love this town. You're using teddy bears and candles. And... So, what's with the camera? I'm documenting my girlfriend and I's trip out to California. I figured it'd be pretty memorable, but so far all I have is footage of hotels and her getting sick. So is there anything fun to do in town? Oh, just the obvious, what we're out of rafting, biking, anything outdoors, but around town mostly just the mall and the theater. Huh. So, here we are in Grand Junction. Things haven't gone exactly as I had hoped. Tonight I should be out celebrating with Rachel, assuming that she would have said yes to my proposal of marriage. But instead, I'm, I'm sitting here in the illustrious pool slash spa area of Grand Junction's finest roadway motel. As you can see, there are many accommodations here, including a um, couple chairs and a few soiled towels on the ground. And of course, this lukewarm hot tub.
What's going on? Unfortunately, one of our uh, guests has passed away. Oh, just a minute. Excuse me, are you supposed to be on this floor? Yeah, uh, I'm in room 327. Okay, please, okay? please return to your room and shut off that camera. Rachel, Rachel, okay, you're... What are you doing? Uh, 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 look at this. There's this car outside. It's I think. The middle that... of the night. Shut that off. No, uh, something happened. I, I, I just. the hell? Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, time to hit the road. Wait, what? I thought you were sick. Well, I only got like 15 hours of sleep. I feel great, so much better. I don't think I slept at all. Why not? I was worried about you. Oh, that's so sweet. But come on, get up. We gotta hit the road. Okay, just one more hour. No, come on. I want to get to Vegas in good time. Were you drinking last night? Maybe. By yourself? Yes. All right, come on. Get up. <sighs> Vegas. What? That's so weird. What? I, I could have sworn I parked in head first and now it's the other way around. This coming from a guy who drank by himself last night. Yeah, but I didn't have anything to drink before I got back to the hotel. You okay? Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe I did park that way. Tell you what, I'll drive the first stretch today. Okay, give me the keys. You want to stop in Green River for lunch? I was thinking about stopping there to get gas, and it looks like the last option for a while. David, hello? Sorry, that, yeah, that sounds fine. Okay. Let's just get something for the road, though, so we'll make better time that way. All right. You okay? I'm fine. Is your phone getting a signal? Um, not really. We just stay on I-70, right? You see, we do need a map. That's why I'm going to buy you one in Green River. Hey, ready? Yeah, uh, let's get back on the road. You drive. Okay, got your map. You know, I'm not one to judge anybody about their religion, but I don't know how the Mormons could think that this was the promised land. David, hey, what's the matter with you? I think this truck is following us. What? Yeah, yeah, the green one right behind us. I don't, I don't know, I think they're following us. Speed up a little bit. What? Speed up, just, just a little bit. You're crazy. Just do it. Okay, fine. What, are they still there? Okay. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Next exit, I want, I want you to, I, I, I want you to, I want you to get off. Here? Here, yes, David, yes. Stop it, this isn't just funny. Turn off, do it. Okay. God, you're scaring the shit out of me. Are they still there? I can't tell. Shit. 
Shit, what? They're, they're fucking following well, us. Why'd you have me get off? I, 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 I didn't know. I, uh, 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 okay. I, 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 want you to, uh, I want you to pull over to the side of the road and see if they pass us. David, I don't want to slow down. I, I don't think that that's a good I idea. They pass us. And what if they don't? Like, I don't know. This is a really bad idea. We got off onto a rural area. We should have stayed around where people were. <sighs> what should we do? Rachel, just, just drive up to the top of here and pull off as soon as you can. <sighs> well, shit. Okay. <sighs> shit, this is really scary. What do we do? There. Okay, right here. Yeah, here? Right here. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know, what, what should we do? Should we just sit okay. there? Oh my god! What do we do? Oh, uh, what do we do? Uh, uh, back up, she, back she up. Down her, she rolled down her window. Should we just... Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... Howdy, just wanted to let you know your brake light was off. Right brake light. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. That's... Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you. You asshole, you scared the shit out of me. It's not funny. Yeah, but I was right. They were following us. Yeah, you were right. We were being followed by like the sweetest woman in the whole world. <laughs> you're such an asshole. That's it, you're driving the rest of the way. Oh my God. This shirt is awesome. You should go to the Grand Canyon. You know, it's not too far. Do they have craps tables and free drinks there? Who knows? They might. Plus, I don't want to stay for very long. We can just drive by, and then we'll head on to Vegas. It's not that cool. I went there as a kid. Well, I've never been there. I mean, I want to see it, and we don't have to stop for anything. It's not that great. It's the kind of place old people go and say, now I finally know the meaning of awesome. This is awesome. See? <laughs> I stand corrected. You want to walk around a little bit? Uh-huh. Yes, I do. Rachel! I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I am the luckiest man. Mm. I am never letting you go. <laughs> well, will you let me go long enough to use the restroom, maybe? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind stepping down from the picnic bench? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, well, yeah, um, what is the fastest way to Vegas from here? 
Oh, Thanks that's easy. Uh, just head out the park the way you came and go towards Fredonia, Arizona. Okay. Then take Highway 389 towards St. George, jump on I-15, and you're on your way. I, I, I gotta go. Okay. I'm, I'm so, sorry. Have I'm a sorry. good day. Shit. Rachel! Rachel! David. You what okay? the hell are you doing? What are you talking about? You... Hang on. Is everything okay? What are you doing? David. Is everything all right? I'm... I don't know. I thought I saw a man follow you in here. I don't know. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh, maybe I've been in that in car too long. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's just, let's go. Okay, are, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, let's just go. Okay. Is everything oh, all right? Yeah, no, we're fine. He just gets a little nervous with me around the heights, that's all. I mean, it's oh, okay. this weird thing. Okay, Yeah. all right. Well, have a safe drive to Las Vegas. Thank you. Take care. Appreciate it. Hey. Hey. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, good. Maybe we should stop with all the paranoia when we get to Vegas, yeah? I will. Promise? Yeah, promise. Righto, daddy-o. Righto, daddy-o. So cool, look at these lights. Beautiful, huh? But I guess we're downtown. It's where the cool people hang out. Says, oh! You are ridiculous. <laughs> hey. Hey. You didn't Betty? get anything. I did. I'm just wearing it. You have to wait till we get home to see. Oh. Oh, well, we better... Oh, baby. Oh, you look amazing. No, 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 you can leave it on if you want to. I love Vegas. Oh. What? No, no way, no way! I'm gonna kill this guy! What the fuck? Stay here, lock the door! David, please don't leave me here, no, I want you to... Hotel security about him, but they're chasing him down now. Jesus, that was fucking scary. I knew it. I fucking knew it. You knew what? Uh, I should have told you, honey. I'm sorry. She told me what? Hello? Yeah, this is it. David. Bye bye, pervert. Why are you filming I've this? I've seen his ass get put in that car. <laughs> I'll see you follow us now, man. What are you talking about? This guy's been following us since Colorado. I, I, I pervert. I knew he was. I saw him at the, uh, in Grand Junction. You remember that car in Utah? I knew that was him. And then I, I saw him again following you into that bathroom in Grand Canyon. Dave Hey.
I thought I asked you to turn that off. Did you tell the police? No. All right. Turn that fucking camera off. I'm just taping over the stuff from last night. Nobody wants to see that. Fine. Hey, look, I'm sorry that I didn't say anything. I just wanted that guy was following us. Like, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I was just tired. We were a little drunk last night. Look, I didn't want to talk about it, all right? Okay. All right? I want to know where the second tallest is. So, David, what are you most looking forward to in California? We are already in California. Very funny. Uh -huh. I don't know. I just, I'd love to see the Pacific Ocean. I know that sounds cheesy, but I've never seen it. I want to put my feet in it. I, I want to see the sun set over the David? ocean. Yeah. Pull, pull over when you get a chance. Oh. Okay. Oh, all right. Are you okay? Yeah, just pull over all right. at the next exit. Okay, sure. What is this? David, what are you doing? Do you see this? It's crazy. It's like an abandoned water park or something. Come on, let's go. I want to go. No, hang on. I, I want to see this. It looks awesome. Okay. Ten minutes tops. Okay. Whoa, this is something else. Whoa. 
That must be where the slides were. Jeez. All through here. Oh, they had like a lazy river. Oh, shit. Ow. 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 How old is this? I thought water parks were kind of a relatively new thing. This is... Place as good as any. Rachel! What? Just come here for a minute. Just this place is so cool. What the hell happened here? Oh my god. Some crackheads took out their aggression here. Hello? Rachel? Uh... Is somebody there? Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. I want to get out of here right now. All right, okay, fine. I just let me film this. No, 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 stuff. like right now. All right. Jeez, you are. David. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, get to the car right now. Run, run. You son of a bitch. Where are you, fucking asshole? Just leave us alone. Show yourself, you coward! Where, where are you? Wednesday, 12th, uh, 9.26 p.m. I now have visual confirmation that Rachel Malone is directly responsible for the murder occurring last night, as well as near certainty uh, that she's tied to several others. My primary goal of detaining her and starting her back in the program has been uh, thwarted by her being one step ahead. My new objective is to uh, warn her travel partner, David Richmond, about her illness without alarming him and alerting her of my intentions. There's still so much to learn.
I just, I fear this journey may have become too dangerous. Yesterday, you promised me that today we would talk about it. Do you remember how you promised me that, Rachel? Well, when you make a promise, you have to keep it. Do you understand that? Rachel, do you understand that? I cut my dog's throat open. Why did you do that, Rachel? Why did you kill your dog, Rachel? Is it the same reason that you killed the other pets on your street? When I did those things, my headache went away. Okay, why don't you finish your drawing? And I'll come back in a little bit, okay? Thank you. 